This is Twit. I was concerned when I heard you, I guess it was on Sunday, talking about the news that uh, Firefox had lost on the order of 50 million of what they call their monthly active users, MAUs. It turns out that number is 56 million, Yikes. Uh, 3,000 and, th- and 700. So 56 million, 3,700 users drop from the peak shown in the chart on that they're tracking, which was at, and this is the good news, it's not like it's 56 million out of 57 million. So, like, <laughs> there's only 1 million left. No, it's but it's a pretty 50, good portion of the total. As a percentage, yes, it is. Uh, so they started out on January 27th of 2019 at 250, nearly 254 million active users they are now as of july 25th 2021 just a couple weeks ago just they dropped below 200 million 197 874 million so uh yeah and you know i guess i'm not surprised um there i mean we we chrome is strong people who may have been on firefox to be the, you know, counter browser, um, they're now able to go to many Chromium browsers. I don't know. It, it would be interesting to know where these people went and why. My feeling is, you know, we always talk about like this notion of a hard floor. Is there like, is there like a hard ceiling or a hard floor above which something won't go or below which something won't go? My guess is there is a hard floor on on this. That is, there are users who were on Firefox because, you know, someone told them they should be once upon a time or something they needed to do didn't work on Firefox where it did on Chrome or they got moved over because of the pandemic because someone said, oh, no, you got to use Zoom with Chrome. And then they just sort of stayed there. I mean, you know, who knows? It would be really interesting if there was like some way to track the rationale for it. But I just sort of, because we talk about browsers a lot, browsers are important, I thought it was worth noting that, you know, this happened. And, but boy, we really don't want a browser monoculture. No, that's the really important thing. And I feel a little guilty because I am not in that category. I actively chose Firefox to support open source and to support a diverse uh, ecosystem. And I have switched as well. And the reason I think is, Unfortunately, so many sites don't work unless you're using Chromium or a you know Chromium derivative. Is that true? Because yeah. I've not I've not hit any. Um, um, a lot uh, of the sites, it's mostly commercial sites, video stuff like that, and I'm uh, increasingly having difficulty using Firefox. Uh, and and the thing is, you know, I'm using Vivaldi now, which is still, you know, it's a very it's a Chromium derivative, but it has a lot right. of nice features. Uh, but it just it's easier. There's yeah, you see, you don't do like. It's not unusual that you'll use, um, you know, for instance, when I do the training for my for Premier Networks, Chrome's required. Um, a lot of, um, you know, uh, art WebRTC style uh, video clients just don't work as well if you're not using well, Chromium. And, and it's a shame. It really is a shame. It, it is, and and we have seen. And I feel bad. All of the, we've seen all the other independent browsers. Just give up, right, yeah. and switch to switch to Chromium. And if any, if if you know, our podcast generates takeaways uh, in general. And if if certainly among those near the top is how difficult it is to do a browser. You you know, it, it's it's like China now th- saying they're going to do their own OS. It's like no, <laughs> no, you're not. You know, n- nobody can do. You just can't, don't do an OS anymore. It's that you know that it's too late. You take Linux and then you you know do some things to it and call it your own. But yeah, and similarly, you take Chromium, the Chromium core, and do some things to it and call it your own browser. It's like okay, you know, we like we like the features that Brave has, or we like the features that Vivaldi have, but they're you know they have they have a common core. Yeah, and except for Firefox. Yeah, except for yeah. Firefox. 
The other thing, I'm a little mad at Firefox because they abandoned progressive web apps, uh, which I think is really important. Uh, uh, and so uh, Chrome supports that. Really? I didn't realize that. I heard you mention that, and I thought, wait, I, I thought Firefox did support I thought they did, uh, too. So, you know, it's not completely our fault if if they're an open source no. browser and they're not supporting these technologies that are, you know, good for open source. And they're still getting a lot of money from Google. Oh, Is yeah, they're basically a Google subsidiary. Right. So because it's... Uh, because it's search what would you yeah. Right. I was yeah. just going to say. It's right, affiliate right, right. fees from Google. It's millions, hundreds of millions of hundreds, dollars a year. Like 500 million yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So, and by the way, so does Apple. Apple gets billions. So yeah, Google pays a lot of money to keep people uh, using their services. Hmm. Yeah. I, it's a very difficult well, politically uh, for me. It's very difficult. Mm -hmm. But... Um, yeah. I, ultimately, uh, I have to opt for the ease of use. Well, and and the problem is, yes, if I, I completely, obviously sympathize. If there's something that you want to do and the browser doesn't, then you go find one that does. No, I mean, the, the, it's not like there's, for most people, there's no compelling reason to use Firefox unless you have some anti-Google, anti-Chrome yeah, that's a thing. good reason. <laughs> that's a hell of a good reason. Uh, and, and, you know, I guess Chromium is open source. I mean, it's developed mostly by Google employees, but it is open source. And so a Chromium-based browser like Edge or Brave or Vivaldi is still at least yeah. using open source technology. Well, and and how many zero days has the Chromium had? It's you know, Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot this month. 13. Which, which affects every single browser, yeah. which is based on the Chromium engine. So that's, of course, the danger of the monoculture mm -hmm. is that you you end up with a position, you know, like like what we have with Windows de uh, desktop, frankly, where you know problems are can be devastating because everybody's using the same one. But it seems inevitable, and I can understand. I mean, I. I wouldn't want to be responsible for a browser these days. Performance and 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 bugs and capabilities and and you know the 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 feature spread. It's not easy.